So hi there, it's Susan, and I thought I would show you how I make my little coffee spoons for my coffee bar. I only do this at Christmas, and they're so easy to make, a child could do them. So I bought some wooden spoons at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure Michael sells them as well. And I'm using some dehydrated marshmallows and some chopped up peppermint. I'm gonna start with the white chocolate, which I melted, and a little tip when you're dipping the spoons, try to get a little bit more chocolate on the, the little, um, the top of the spoon, just so that you have more chocolate in your coffee. I mean, you can use these for a coffee and you can also use them for hot cocoa. And I'm using the white with the peppermint. These make a great little added gift to a present or a little, you know, adding it to a hostess gift or even just putting it on a Christmas card. So I put them in the fridge for five minutes just to harden them up quicker. And then I'm gonna package them in little plastic bags. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the chocolate, the, the dark, well, the milk chocolate. And I'm going to um, add some dehydrated mini marshmallows. They were really hard to find. I know you can order them on Amazon. And I got them at the Michaels store in the States. Thank you. 
Thursday. You know, I can't keep track of my days. Anyway, I'm going to set the table and show you how I do my Christmas tablescape. So first I'm going to start with these chargers that I bought at the Christmas tree shop and they are beautiful. They were $7.99 and uh, I think that's the going price in chargers like this. So I have four of these lacy kind and I thought I would change it up and, you know, do two at the heads, at the, at the ends of the table, a different charger. I'm just going to use these napkins that I bought at home since I just love them the red and white ticking fabric I think that's my new Christmas design style that I like and for years I was just sort of folding them and placing them under the salad plate and this year I started sort of doing a different style and just sort of um, folding it over and giving it a big knot I guess that's more of a casual look and the other way is maybe more formal a little bit fancy. I'm just folding it over in half and then I just fold it a few times and then tie it up in the middle. Got to show you these pretty snowflake plates that I bought at Kirkland. And then I thought just to give it a little bit of a fun festive look, I'm going to use one of these um, big candy cane sticks in the middle. And at first I couldn't figure out how to place them on the plate, but then I thought I'm just going to put them in the knotted napkin. Voila! Simple and cute.
So then I had to get these. What a cute pillow. What a cute face, a Santa face. I saw these at HomeSense and I knew I had to have them in my house. And I love the idea of turning them around and having that red ticking fabric again. So if you get tired of the Santa, you can turn them around and they are, uh, they have a zipper in them. So like you could put them on the couch and put a, like a, a softer pillow in them. But I put them on the ends of the chairs here, the table I should say, just to make it a bit more comfortable when you're sitting on these wooden chairs. And of course I'm not gonna buy six of them. I just put one on either end. Thank you. 